Hello everybody, I just had a uh, really silly short story published in Current, which is uh, my local newspaper puts out a little lit mag every year. It's called, this piece is on page 21, it's called Prom. It goes like this. Hey champ, put that burger down. You know you need to wait an hour between eating and dancing. Kyle rolled his eyes. Dad, that's for swimming, not dancing. And I'm not hungry, he whined. His father clucked his tongue and patted his beer belly. You don't want to end up like your old man, do you? Kyle winced, but his father continued. Son, be careful. You're about to get mustard and ketchup on your tux. Go on, put down the fast food and pick up your girlfriend. Prom will start soon. No longer hungry, Kyle wrapped the burger back up in its tissue and foil. How could he tell his dad that his date wasn't a girl? It wasn't even a human, but an alien named Zia from a planet far, far away where there were no blasted proms or high schools or anything terrible. Dad, Kyle squeaked for a moment, sounding like puberty had never happened. Um, his father pulled out a chair from the kitchen table and sat on it backward, arm draped over the back, double chin resting on a burly forearm. Son... Do you, mm, need, er, a condom for tonight, he finished in a rush. Kyle squeezed his eyes shut. No, Dad. I wanted to tell you, I've become enlightened. His father leaned forward and gripped Kyle's shoulder. If you want to stay out late and drink beer, it's okay, son. I remember what it was like when I was your age. Dad, I'm actually leaving this slave planet, Kyle burst out, shrugging off his father's grip. It's too painful being an enlightened being. All the suffering, the chaos, the shitty fast food, the math homework. His father scratched his stubbly chin, brow furrowed. Kyle forced himself to meet his father's gaze. Dad, I'm leaving. A beam of light came down from the ceiling. Kyle levitated. But I didn't get your prom picture, his father bellowed, as Kyle floated gently up and out of the open kitchen window the gingham curtains fluttering in his wake. <laughs> Thank you.